Ladies and gentlemen, President Franklin Roosevelt. I, I mean, President Theodore Roosevelt. How do you get a woman to go home with you? Speak softly, carry a big stick, and sneak up behind her. He was a president, an outdoorsman, a rough rider, a vampire hunter, and a stand-up comedian. My wife could be described as a bit of a redneck. Her landing strip is shaped like a mullet. <laughs> I bought a penis pump this past year. I could not find the receipt. I guess I'll have to file for an extension. He was funny, filthy, honest, hyperactive, brilliant, and very politically incorrect. I once asked Booker T. Washington, what's white at the top and black at the bottom? He said, what is it? And I said, society. A woman once asked me why I don't support women's suffrage. <laughs> I said, dear, that's because you can't put a voting booth in the kitchen. <laughs> Time Magazine called him the only president with a mustache worth remembering. How do you finger a girl from the west side like this? <laughs> After breaking up with me, my ex became quite a bit of a strumpet. She only dated black men. She took more dark loads than Johnny Cash's washing machine. <laughs> Time Magazine called him a prophet and kind of a douchebag. This pussy ain't gonna fuck itself! I am wearing a WWMD bracelet. What would Muhammad do? It's made out of plastic explosives. <laughs> President McKinley described him as the guy who took over after I was assassinated. When I would go to the whorehouses as a young man, the escorts would tell me, you're hung like a bull moose. <laughs> he was a trust buster. He had the lust to bust trust with enough gust to thrust all the dust off the crust of any trust. I can't believe this is not butter. I'm actually in a one-man show about the life of Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> I never thought his head could get any bigger and then they carved it on the side of a mountain. You know how hard it is scheduling gigs between State of the Union addresses, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Shut up. My wife is a bit of a whore. During fellatio, she pushes her own head down. Her own head. Is this thing on? Newsweek said his death was an overdose of comedy. You don't want the jokes, because deep down inside, you don't get the jokes. That's why you need me on this stage. You want me on this stage. Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a notebook and start writing your own jokes. Either way, I don't give a goddamn what you want. His life was a four-letter word, and that four-letter word was fuck. Jay Lafar is Teddy. Theodore Roosevelt, the stand-up comedian.